Police have not made any arrests in this crime spree just yet, but the message from the towns for selectmen is they plan to. In the meantime, those who had their cars broken into tell us they're feeling violated. A 3 a.m. smash and grab caught on this dashboard camera in North Haven on Wednesday. They make it so you don't know who they are, you can't hear their voice, there's no tip offs or anything, so mm -hmm. they know what they're doing. Andrew Ayavana is one of nearly 50 people targeted by burglars, making their rounds through town this week. In Ayavana's case, the video shows a person covered from head to toe in a mask, gloves, and a sweatsuit rummaging through his truck, leaving with a drone. It's stuff that's yours. It's personal items. You know, they're going through your things. And, you know, just to see someone nonchalantly go through it like that, it just it doesn't sit well with you. Ayavana's neighbors on 12 other streets are going through the same thing getting their windows repaired, dealing with insurance companies, missing work, and waking up to mayhem. We just discovered it. There was glass everywhere, and we looked across the street, and our neighbor got hit as well. So mm -hmm. it, was, it was a little chaotic. Genevieve Cabrera's ring camera catching the moment a dark-colored sedan with at least two people pulled up to her driveway, checking her car, smashing its windows, and then going after her neighbors. Watching the video, it just feels violating, you know, and there's nothing you could do about it. North Haven's first selectman, Michael Frieda, says the town is doing something about it. We're staffing up the night shifts, putting more people on, paying overtime. To, in an effort to intercept this. And for the criminals, he has a message. You may be able to run, but you're not going to be able to hide. We will catch you. Now, Frida says 20 of the car break-ins happened at the Best Western Hotel here in town. He says he's had a conversation and is having conversations with the GM about putting more cameras there. And if you're around town tonight, he says expect an extra police presence here. We are in North Haven. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.